ladies, welcome back to Fertility Mom. I'm gonna do a super quick video for you today on how to thicken your uterine lining fast. If you have a thin endometrium or a thin uterine lining and you're trying to get pregnant or you're having a lot of issues with loss, then stick to the end because I'm gonna show you how you can get a checklist that you can actually check off and see what are some things that you're not doing or that you could be adding into your regimen. So stick to the end and I'll show you how you can get that. Okay, first, really quick before we get into it. <laughs> Endometrial lining is one of these things that we need to have a certain thickness to have the optimal outcome. Now that usually is around that eight, nine millimeter area. Doesn't mean you can't get pregnant if your uterine lining is a little less than that, but the best results are if your uterine lining is at least around that eight, nine millimeter area. So if you're struggling with your uterine lining and you wanna try and thicken it really fast, then we're gonna go over these things today, but those are the kind of the numbers that we're aiming for. If you're a little less than that, it doesn't mean you can't get pregnant. It does happen a lot of times. It's just not the most optimal outcome for those pregnancies. So we wanna really try and make it as good as we can get it before we move into any kind of frozen embryo transfer or anything like that. So one of the best things that you can do for this is actually getting in some really good regular movement throughout your day and throughout your week. So one of the best things you can do for this is walking, okay? If you don't have enough time to set aside legit exercise time where you're going to the gym or you're doing an actual workout routine, walking is so, so good for your body. It really gets that blood moving and it's one of the best underrated forms of exercises there is. So if you don't have the energy or the brain space or whatever it is to do a workout routine, go for a walk. Go for a 20 minute walk every single day and that is gonna be one of the best things that you do for your blood flow. So definitely movement is at the top of this list to help thicken that uterine lining. Some other really good things that can be good for bringing in that good blood flow and those nutrients are castor oil packs and fertility massage. Now you're gonna do clockwise um, motions to do this massage. You're gonna aim for about three, four inches below your belly button or your navel and about three inches to the left and the right. You're gonna do on the entire area in clockwise motions. Do about 10 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on how you wanna do. Throw some good music on, throw a TV show on, whatever it is you wanna do, and just have that good time to give yourself that good fertility massage and then maybe throw a castor oil pack on afterwards. Something you can do with your diet that is really helpful for not only just general health, but also really giving your body the nutrients it needs to build that lining up is to really focus on variety with your diet. So obviously we're gonna concentrate on whole and unprocessed foods for the vast majority of what you're eating, but you also wanna focus on having a big variety of things so that you're not eating the same exact foods every single day. It's the same set of nutrients that your body gets every single day. You really wanna flood your body with all these different things. So have a huge variety, different fruits, different vegetables, different proteins, different fats happening on a daily basis so that your body has this really big buffet of nutrients to pick from. Something else you can add in if you're someone who can tolerate this is a cup or two or three of bone broth every day, especially if it's homemade and it has that really beautiful gelatinous texture to it. It's just the best thing for you. It has so many micronutrients in there and so many good things. So that's something that I definitely recommend adding in if it's not something you're already doing. And then of course, I know you're dying to know what kinds of supplements and herbal therapies can help me here. And yes, there's so, so many different ones. And there's a lot of really good encouraging studies that have been done on some of these supplemental and herbal therapies as well. So in the checklist that I'm gonna give you access to at the end of this, there are gonna be some things in there that will help. Some of them are like vitamin E, which I, I prefer the tocotrienol form, not the tocopherol form of vitamin E. There will be a link in that checklist for you. Um, royal jelly is actually a really good kind of natural supplement you can throw in there. L-arginine, there's some really positive studies on the use of L-arginine and some other things as well. So you can absolutely get access to that checklist and kind of look through there. There's also something called moxibustion with mugwort. That's something that's also been really helpful. If you have an acupuncturist that is doing that already, that's perfect. If you don't have an acupuncturist and you can don't know what I'm talking about, you can click on that link, find out more, and you can do it at home as well. And then of course, there's all sorts of different supplemental therapies that you can add in as well, like acupuncture, acupressure, 
These things are absolutely wonderful to add into any fertility regimen, no matter what you're doing. Find a specialist who's well-versed in the fertility world so that they know exactly kind of what to do with where you're at in your cycle or your um, IVF transfer or whatever it is that you're doing. Both acupuncture and acupressure are awesome. There's also sauna, which is great. Don't go nuts with it. Don't do it every day. This is something you would just want to get in like once or twice a week. If possible, if you just need to do it a couple times a month, that's great too. And then of course, of course, of course, there's always visualization and meditation, mindset work, spiritual work. These kinds of things make a big difference in the actual physicality of what's going on in your body as well. So it can't be left off the table. It is something that can be helpful in your journey. All right, ladies, I'm trying to do fast videos for you. I know sometimes I fail miserably at that, but I did try and do it fast for you today. If you would like to get access to that checklist, head down to the description box below or the comment box below, the first pinned comment, and there will be instructions there for how you can go get that checklist. Okay, there will be links in there for you and some extra information, things that you can follow and do at home. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me on Fertility Mom, and I'll see you again, ladies. Bye.